We are going to start off with our roasted ride. Uh, we'll start the day with a motorcycle ride, which will begin at Big Barn Harley Davidson, and we'll take a nice little ride up to um, Boone, Boone, Iowa, right here, where we will have the roast portion of the day. And that will include a lot of guest speakers. Of course, Chuck Grassley, Steve King will be here. Our new governor, Kim Reynolds, will also be a guest. Special guest will be Senator Tim Scott of South Carolina, good friend of mine in the Senate. And then we will also have our special, special guest, the Vice President of the United States, Mike Pence. So it'll be a great day. We're going to have lots of entertainment. Of course, when we start the ride portion of the day, the ride is always dedicated to our veterans. And every year we take the proceeds from the motorcycle ride and we donate that to a veterans charity. And this year it is the charity Hope for the Warriors, which is a national nonprofit which supports our veterans, our military families, and those service members. What do you expect um, Mike Pence will say to Iowans when he comes here? Well, one, I think he will thank Iowa for being so supportive of their team in the last election cycle. But I also hope to hear a very inspirational message about how we can bring the country together and how we move forward. Uh, I think that's that's what we'll see tomorrow. Question, thoughts on uh, President Trump removing the United States out of the Paris Agreement? Well, I think it was a, an agreement that was made solely by the chief executive during the Obama administration, and, and this chief executive made the decision to come out of that agreement. I think it's important that we continue to move forward with green energy solutions, and we're finding that we're doing that with the market. A lot of our customers are demanding clean energy. Uh, we are moving ahead with that here in the United States, and that was his decision to make, and so now we move forward. And so were you in favor of it or supportive of it? I'm in favor of the president taking what action he felt necessary. Now, of course, coming from Iowa, we are a leader in clean energy, renewable energy sources, and I support that. And I think we'll continue to move forward. Again, we've got a lot going on with wind energy, our biodiesel, as well as our corn ethanol. And we'll continue to produce those, um, those means of energy, and I'll remain supportive of our energy. Do you think his, uh, just wondering if you think uh, follow-up his um, decision could have a negative impact on Iowa's renewable energy. I don't think so. I am very optimistic about our future. Um, we focus very heavily on clean energy in the United States and I think we'll see that continue. But couldn't it theoretically, Senator, if you pull out of this climate accord that perhaps helps coal companies and natural gas companies in other part of the country, wouldn't that put direct competition against uh, the wind energy efforts that you have here in Iowa? We see it moving ahead no matter what. Here in Iowa, we've seen great successes. Mid-America has uh, yet an expanding field of wind towers going in down in southwest Iowa and across the western part of the state. So I think we'll continue to see expansion in those clean energy areas. Iowa has been a leader in this area. We're going to keep pushing that forward. We'll see other states continue. Have you gotten assurances from the White House then that the federal tax credits that are available to these companies that are producing wind energy will stay in place? Well, I know the president is very much in favor of it. Um, I, I don't have an assurance from him, but it is something that Senator Grassley and our whole team at, when the, in the Iowa delegation will continue to push for that and, and be very supportive of that. What about the criticism that the president's receiving now that this isolates the United States from the rest of the world pulling out of Paris? Do you see it that way? No, I don't. Not at all. I think we stay engaged um, with the world, whether it's through trade, whether it's through um, security issues around the globe. I think the United States will continue to be a leader. Um, we'll continue to work with other countries as, as, it nece uh, as it's necessary. But um, it's up to the president to make that decision. He made that decision. Now, how do we move forward and continue supporting clean energy? That's something that we will do. Do you believe in climate change? Uh, uh, the White House is apparently not giving an answer on the, what Trump believes. Well, the climate has been changing for centuries. We cannot, um, cannot doubt that. Um, but what we can all agree upon is that we do need to move to renewable energy sources. And again, Iowa is a very strong leader in renewable energy. And I think a lot of states should be looking towards Iowa as the example on how to move 
move forward with clean energy. Uh, and we are happy to, to point them in the right direction. Do you think humans are contributing to climate change? Um, they may be contributing some, but overall, if you look towards other countries, I think the United States has really set a strong example of moving forward. Customers are demanding that, and it's very market-driven here in the United States. We may continue to see that in other countries as well. Um, China and India, very large uh, producers of, of carbon footprints out there, and, and we hope to see them do better. But we can do what we can do here in the United States, and I think we're setting a very good example. Secretary, our uh, former director uh, of the FBI, James Comey, is going to testify in the Senate next week. And, and the White House is not is, is giving some signals that they may attempt to evoke a vet, uh, uh, executive privilege to prevent him from testifying. Do you think the White House should make that move, or should the American people hear from Director Comey? I think Director Comey should testify in front of the committee. I think that's a smart move, and, and we want to hear what he has to say. Do you think the investigation is warranted? I think we should look into any allegations that are out there, and, and we have been doing this for a number of months now. So between the House, between the Senate, it's a bipartisan committee in both chambers, and they'll continue to investigate. So I think it's I think it's smart, and I think he should testify. Do you think? Oh, sorry. Yeah. Can we see if the Ames Tribune. Yes. Let's see oh, if sorry. we can. Yeah, no. <laughs> oh, that's okay. You guys were asking a lot of questions. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I uh, I know a lot of people have voiced concerns that. on American jobs first and I think that's very smart of him to do that if he wants to talk about ways that we can interact with other countries that's great uh, but the the president is very focused on retaining American jobs and developing our own economy so I I look forward to what he has to say further we know very little details about what he would renegotiate what, we've been talking to a lot of Iowans over the past 24 hours and bring up the topic of Russia, their eyes tend to gloss over a little bit. Do you think that folks in D.C. are maybe paying too much attention to that and not to some of these kitchen table issues that you've talked about as a senator? I'll be honest. When I'm out doing my 99-county tour, most of the folks I'm talking to are very concerned about jobs and economy. They want to know about over-regulation. Um, one of the items is still WOTUS. That's a hot topic, um, which is waters of the United States. And the expanded definition we saw from the EPA uh, several years ago. So making sure that our economy is working and making sure that if regulations are put in place, they're smart, common sense regulations, not overburdensome regulations on businesses. Uh, so we want to know that our farm economy is going to be strong. And we've suffered a little bit in recent years with the farm economy and agriculture. We want to make sure we're moving ahead. Those are things that Iowans are really concerned about. Now, national defense is something that they do pay attention to. But Russia, they just want to make sure that, that we're doing the right thing. But overall, they want to know the things that are impacting their daily lives. And when the president says America first, he said that a couple times yesterday, does that resonate with Iowa voters? I mean, is that part of the reason that he won here last year? It does, because we really want to focus on Americans. What's important to America? What will develop our own economy? What will keep us safe from terrorists? Those are all things that Iowans are, are really... Uh, uh, concerned about and those are the things that I hear about when I'm out across Iowa and doing that 99 county tour and that's why we do that is to hear what Iowans are thinking those are the things they're concerned about and back to the Harley ride how long have you been riding a Harley you'll be out front I mean how often do you hop on it and <laughs> not as often as I like um, I have been riding motorcycles since I was a kid I started out on the dirt bike when I was a young girl uh, but riding a Harley probably for the past 15 years or so I've had my own bike and so it's uh, a fun activity my husband rides as well we have a lot of friends that ride so it's been a hobby and a great way just to relax after a long day um, this year I've only been on the bike a few times and, and would love to be able to get out more but doing that 99 county tour until we wrap that up most of my weekends are pretty cool will the vice president be riding a Harley? <laughs> we hope that we hope that he has the opportunity to ride and we'll see what his secret service says about that. <laughs> and the, the president had to cancel his uh, trip here uh, 
it was supposed to be here yesterday. Do you expect that's going to be rescheduled? And I, you know when? I hope that it will be rescheduled. He has given indications that, that he will. Um, so we'll wait and see. But I, I do hope so. I think he would like to come back to Iowa and thank them as well. I'm, I'm good. Uh, my main question was the Paris Agreement. Okay, great. Right. Thanks, everybody, so much.